I, I got a Trillium beer here, Dogtooth Violet, one of their cheapest uh, so-called American Wild Ale, that's what they call it, <clears throat> um, because I guess it's, you know, partially fermented by their their own wild culture, or mixed culture, but apparently it's not very sour, it's not really aged very long, they don't say it's aged long, it's no barrel aging. What's cool is that they do use some aged hops in it, and that's one thing I like a lot about Lambic beers, I realized, is the age hop adds its own kind of unique funk that works really well with uh, wild beers and Brettanomyces and all that stuff. What I'm a little confused about is I just bought this, and it looks like it was bottled on October 26th of 2018. Did they really make a huge batch like that? Or uh, <clears throat> was this, did they just let it bottle condition that long? Does it not sell that well? Am I reading the date wrong? I don't know, but it's 6.3 or 6.2 percent. Never had this. Uh, I guess the closest I've had to this was their just regular Trillium Wild Ale, which is like a simple saison um, that's then from fermented also with their mixed culture, and I had like a dry hop version of that too. That's pretty good. Um, so I'm excited to try this one, especially because it's supposed to be a little funky, but not sour and. Not crazy about the sour, super sour beers these days. I always enjoy some Brett Funk and some nice wild Brett carbonation. That looks pretty nice there. Yeah. Good head. Very active carbonation. And I'm smelling it already. Nice. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that I don't know why they're selling a bottle for like $250 or even less than that. Because a lot of brewers, they you know, would sell this for more, or they would put it in a big bottle, it would be at least ten dollars. But that is a very nice bottle conditioning. I hear some bubbles, but I'm betting that head is gonna stick around for a while. Let's just let's just go all out. Let's just do that. Yeah, I love very well bottle conditioned Brett beer heads because there's nothing else quite like them. <clears throat> Sometimes you get really crazy and it'll get all craggy. We'll see what happens. But that is just awesome. And some people were saying this smells more sour than it actually is. And I, yeah, it smells like it's got a little bit of barnyard, very floral. And it smells like it's, it has maybe a, a teeny little hint of acetic acid in there. It's a teeny bit vinegary, but I bet it's just lacking lactic acid. So you can smell it, but then the vinegar and quality probably doesn't build up that much. It's a, it's a pretty good smell. It could be a little bit more funky, a little bit more fruity. Maybe if I just age it longer, that'll happen. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. Just a little bit acidic. It makes it kind of juicy, almost. Mmm. And the aged hops bring in some kind of green, green funkiness. A little grassy. A lot of people say aged hops are like get cheesy. I'm not getting, I don't know, maybe it reminds me of the grassiness you get from like good grass fed cheese, good grass fed cheddar and stuff. And um, so that's really nice. Quite dry and light bodied. And because of that and all the carbonation just kind of floats on your tongue. Just acidic enough to kind of make my mouth water a teeny bit, but not no puckering at all. And it finishes with a, just a hint of that Breton MIC is like um, bitter aspirin quality. Not too strong though. I, but it seems it, it has this juicy quality to me, honestly. It's like a chamomile tea and lemon, but brewed a little strong, so it has some bitterness. Um, this is a really nice beer. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad I bought four of these. It's definitely worth it. Look at that, that head is just beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty complex. It's subtle. 
and as you drink it, you, I'm getting more fruitiness from the bread. It's a little bit stone fruity. It's not all out like near rotting tropical fruits like Bre I get from some Breton MIC's beers. <clears throat> and as you drink more of it, like there is a bitterness and it's not, it's not tannins, I don't think, but it's something that's like tannins builds up and really dries out your mouth and leaves like a really earthy spiciness. This is really good. <laughs> I like this a lot. I would give this a 4.25, maybe even more. It's really well made. And basically anytime you have a really nice head like this on a beer that isn't totally fucked up, you know, it's gonna be good. I highly recommend this one. <sighs> yeah, maybe, maybe I'll start buying Trillium more often. Yes, very, very good, but I guess it's mainly for people who want funky, bread, bready, kind of um, lambic-y type influence sours, not ones that are just super sour, super oaky, super fruity, and all that stuff. It's not that, and I don't really care about sour fruit stuff, like, there are a million of those out. Um, this one is special.